Hello, my name is Cesar Marilla Suvia, and I will be going through four images depicting changes throughout Marc Jacobs' career as a fashion designer. Image one starts us off with Marc Jacobs' graduate show from Parsons School of Design in 1981. For his senior thesis, he designed three sweaters featuring optical art. The sweaters were hand knitted by his grandmother and were success during the show. Those same sweaters were instrumental in getting him hired for Reuben Thomas Incorporated, where he designed two successful collections before they closed in 1985. One collection featured a similar sweater to the one in the photo from his graduate show. Almost completely identical with the dots, the singular difference was that only one smiley face remained on the left sleeve. The rest of the graduate show collection featured billowy skirts and oversized two-piece ensembles. Very appropriate silhouettes for the time and a similar approach to many of the clothing he has designed since. The styling is also very youthful and reminiscent of 80s pop culture. We also see him use prints and patterns freely, a glimpse to his design future as he loves to employ both as well as displaying art on his garments. A note I'd like to make is that the smiley faces are a funny coincidence to his 2018 Heaven collection featuring Nirvana's logo. Image 2 is of the Perry Ellis Spring 1993 collection, featured in the December 1992 Vogue. The collection was presented earlier that year. Marc Jacobs presented his now infamous grunge collection for Perry Ellis' Spring 1993 line. He dressed models and pieces you would find in the closets of Courtney Love and grunge-loving Seattleites of the 90s. This consisted of knitted beanies, Doc Martens, layered flannel shirts, cargo pants, slips, and printed granny dresses. The critics were shocked. These were items readily available in thrift stores, not something Perry Ellis would sell. The silhouettes were, again, baggy and current for the 90s, and again, taking inspiration from the pop culture and art styles current back then. He used prints on the dresses and flannels and featured trendy styling like the layering of the flannels and knitwear. The knitwear was actually successful if stylists didn't present them with other pieces from the collection. In all, this collection was the antithesis of what Perry Ellis had represented in the fashion world. Ellis was preppy American sportswear, and this was not that. One can almost say this collection is a polished version of his graduate show collection with similar silhouettes and cultural references. He is sticking to his vision, yet shaping it to what is current. Image 3 is from Spring 2003, when he was the creative director of Louis Vuitton. For Louis Vuitton's Spring 2003 Ready to Wear collection, Marc Jacobs debuted a collaboration with Japanese artist Takashi Murakami that birthed the candy-colored Speedy Bag, this bag was a sensation in the early 2000s. It became the It Bag, cementing this collaboration as one defining the early 2000s fashion aesthetics. Again, we see Mark finding a way to feature art on his pieces, this time by another artist. He took the historic monogram luggage company from stuffy and practical to fresh and vibrant, introducing a younger generation to the fashion house. Mark is aware of what is going on in pop culture and finds beautiful ways to implement the concepts he sees onto his desirable designs. Aside from the purses, the collection features pieces that are reminiscent of the 50s and 60s. Items such as low-rise polka dot bathing suits, trenches and outer coats, mod-inspired dresses with cutouts, frilly delicate mini dresses, and the models honored to walk with the updated monogram bags wore dresses very similar to vintage house dresses, with rounded collars and piping from the shoulder to the rounded pockets. The colors were sweet and delicate, yet vibrant and candy-like. It was like his mood board for the season was vampy Audrey Hepburn in a modern candy shop. You can see the marriage of Mark's fun and youthful approach to fashion and Louis Vuitton's classic heritage. Image 4 is from the Marc Jacobs Fall 2020 show, which is his most recent collection. This collection, like the Louis Vuitton show in 2003, also sends us back in time to the 60s. But if that collection was sweet and fresh, this collection is its darker, grown-up sister. The colors were present, but subdued and sometimes dark, or done in a sequin fabric. The silhouettes were very mod, featuring styles similar to the 2003 show, but executed for a more sophisticated customer. He showed evening dresses with gloves that reminded the spectator of Jackie O, three button A-line coats, mini dresses with tights, fur hats and hair scarves, sequin shift dresses, and models were styled in a monochromatic palette. We can't forget his love of art, which made an appearance this time through dancers at the beginning of the show. All in all, if his graduate show is the baby version of his grunge show, this is a refined version of his 2003 show. With this most current collection, Mark's immense love for nostalgia. He designs clothing that are fresh and appropriate for the times, yet each collection is like a memory box of a specific era, current or past. He has a talent for bringing the past into the future in beautiful and fresh ways. Thank you.